Hey guys, it's Amy at 804 Sycamore. Now, I love making my own ornaments. Uh, there's something pretty special about it. I like to change up my Christmas tree every year and add some new homemade ornaments to the mix. And so when I discovered flocking supplies on Amazon, I couldn't wait. Now, I picked a pretty basic color um, because I like neutrals and I felt like it could go with several different tree styles down the road. Um, but that's one part you're going to love is all the different colors of flocking you can choose from. Now, I just used plastic ornaments from Hobby Lobby. They were 60% off and I got 24 for 60% um, off 20 bucks. So, um, under ten dollars and I only flocked half of those so um, I used the other dozen to do a different technique um, but I have plenty of flocking material left so I could do plastic animal toys I could do wooden Christmas houses or cardboard houses I could flock a lot of things maybe even a lampshade I don't know it feels like the possibilities are endless if you want to flock it you probably can. So I would just encourage you to um, think big with this technique, but make sure you follow the manufacturer's instructions. And I want to tell you just how easy this project was to do. I was totally impressed. Um, but you do want to do it outside. There is a lot of dust um, from the flocking. And so you want to make sure you wear a protective mask and even eye protection too. So. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and let's get going. So you're going to want to gather all your materials. I got this mini flocker, my goose gray flocking material, and then the flock it adhesive. And the uh, flocking applicator, it's, it's pretty simplistic, um, but it's a definite must. And then I just have my little a styrofoam platform with a pencil to hold the bulb out. There's my drying, drying station. After I have it totally flocked, I'll transfer it there. Um, it needs about three days to totally cure. And then I put it all encased in this box, but to be completely honest, it was way too messy, and so I moved my operation outside. But I also wore a mask. Um, you don't want to breathe this stuff in, and I wore goggles because um, the particles do fly about. And so anyways, um, all you have to do is take your ornament. You can do this to old ornaments that need new life, thrifted ornaments, or just these simple clear plastic ones. And you're going to want to use a paintbrush you don't care about. You're going to have to throw this away when you're all done. You're not going to be able to salvage it and clean it. And I also ended up using gloves. Um, this stuff is kind of like tar in a way. Um, or molasses, just the thickness of it. And so if it gets on your skin, you're going to have to use some like Dawn dish soap to really get it off. So highly recommend gloves as well. Um, anyways, you're just going to cover the entire ornament with the adhesive. And it is um, self-leveling, so don't worry about brush marks. Just make sure you have a nice even layer over the entire ornament. Um, this is going to ensure that nice even surface to have an even layer of flocking onto. Now there are some different applicators. Um, some people will hold the ornament and then take this bottle type applicator and that probably would have been easier. Um, once I moved this outside the wind kind of twirled my um, ornaments around. But this is how simple it is. You fill the applicator about halfway full of the flocking material and then you just um, pump it in and out and it blows a nice dusting all over. And you're gonna wanna just um, keep going until it's all covering the um, adhesive. And this does take a while. Some angles are hard to get to because it's a round bulb, um, but it it's awesome. And if you get kind of um, some thicker spots, don't be tempted to brush them off. They will fall off during the curing process and it will all look great. So don't be tempted to touch it. Um, that's in the, the manufacturer's instructions to not touch it while it's still curing and drying. And as you can see, the flocking material is collecting in this box. And the great thing is, is when you're done with each ornament, 
you can just kind of scoop it all into one corner and then pour it back into your flocking bag and reuse it. Um, you know, as long as there's no dirt and debris mixing in there. So um, just keep um, adding the flocking material to it until it's all covered. And I'm, I'm not a total perfectionist with this. So some of my ornaments, I see some thinner spots, but it's okay. Um, they look beautiful on the Christmas tree. Um, the Christmas lights create a really beautiful um, light softening the the velvet the faux velvet look it's they're just really stunning and there's so many colors to choose from on Amazon so um, I did the gray because I wanted a neutral ornament that would go with many styles for years to come another thing to note is while you are applying the flocking material you're going to want to make sure that your lid is on the adhesive you don't want any dust and debris getting in there so um, as you can see I got some of the adhesive on my fingers and again you're gonna need some Dawn dish soap to get that off but um, I when I filled the applicator about halfway full that was enough to cover one ornament so um, after you finish this one go ahead and open the applicator pour your excess that's all collected in the box back into the applicator um, there's uh, there's a ton I was able to do all of these and I still have um, more flocky materials left um, so as you can see this is before it is dry and you can see the black underneath but here they are totally done looking absolutely beautiful and soft and just really luxurious and rich I absolutely love the way they turned out and I used some velvet ribbon just to kind of up the ante a little bit with the look. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it inspiring and got some fun ideas for flocking your own ornaments.